you're anything like me, at times you'll get nervous about something that's due to happen in the future. It might be taking on a new client. It might be delivering a speech. It might be running a workshop. Who knows what it could be, but it's something in the future that you deem to be important and you want it to go well. So what do you do? Well, I've found that it's natural, well, for me at least, to initially feel excited and then confident and then something happens and a little bit of doubt creeps in, then some confusion, then confidence takes a drop. And then as you see the event getting closer, nervousness builds and so on. And if you let it, it'll cripple you. You start to bring into existence the very outcome you feared would happen. Having regularly over the years put myself out of my comfort zone into those spaces of can I do this territory, I've found that my best strategies have been these three things. Number one, preparation. The more I prepare, the more sense and flow I can create in my head and that aids my performance. I found myself going through the emotional cycle mentioned earlier only to come back out the other side feeling very confident and excited again. And that's because of loads of preparation. I don't wing things. Number two, inner voice. I didn't fully appreciate this until I started learning about coaching, but the importance of quietening the inner critic. When the thoughts turn to doubt or I find myself saying unhelpful things to myself, I now literally shake my head, almost as, have, as if having a, a fly in my ear, to get rid of the thought and instantly replace it with a more constructive thought. After all, thoughts create feelings, Feelings create actions, and actions create results. And three, the past is my friend. I look back to the times I've successfully done the thing I'm about to do, and I take confidence from that. I say to myself things like, it went well the last time, and that was ages ago. You're way better than you were back then. Or, it's always gone well. Of course it'll go well. I doubt there are many who are watching this video now who will say, I don't know what you mean, Alan. I never experienced this lack in confidence. For most of us, it's natural. The thing I'm interested in is, what's your technique to build yourself up and be at your best? I can empathize with anyone who says they too feel like this. I do, however, become less tolerant of those who've surrendered themselves to it and haven't got or at least aren't trying to find their technique. I believe that we owe it to ourselves and those around us to work on ourselves to be at our best.